Sagittarius, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. We're in a week today. I've got a terrible cold. Oh, it's a shocker. So apologies if I'm sneezing all the way through it. I've done a test, it's just a cold. Right. Sagittarius, what do you need to know about it? Bear in mind, my love, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentilyclara.com, or if you join my channel. Each has its own perks, but Patreon would be the best price. Possibly, maybe. Sagittarius, what do you need to know about love? Love has jumped out. Alright. Oh, gold. Alright, that bottom of the deck says it all. I'll, I'll get to that then. So, you've manifested in somebody. Whoa, lovely. You want that new beginning, that special new beginning. It's sexy, it's fun, it's fireworks, it's amazing. Oh, well, suddenly they're not communicating with you. So this is somebody who doesn't text back. This is somebody who leaves you on red. Uh, coming up in the near future. Oh, more of the same. I just, uh, I think the question you want to know is where did it go wrong? Where did it go wrong? Why are they not texting back? Why are they not? Why are they ghosting you? I think they got a little bit spooked. Was something kind of put out there? I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> God, blimey, that was a good one. I enjoyed that. Excuse me. That felt amazing. Oh, I can smoke a cigarette now. <laughs> Don't even smoke. Uh, was something kind of put out publicly, like, uh, for instance, a Facebook status changed in a relationship with this person, or posting a picture, uh, so I apologise if I keep sniffing and it sounds disgusting, I'll try and behave myself, I'll wipe my nose, oh, just did it again. It, it sort of it was it was was a picture posted up of you guys together um it sort of feels like they got a little bit spooked by that it got a little bit public before they were ready for it and they're like ah that seems to be let me know in the comments below if that was an occurrence that you sort of thought you, you sort of felt safe like well you know we've been seeing each other a while i thought i could make it public they weren't ready to make it public Anything else you need to know right now? They've gone, they've gone AWOL here. They've gone silent. Radio silence. I don't think you even actually know where they are. They needed to take a time out and uh, they didn't want to have, they didn't want to argue about it. Excuse me. They didn't want to argue about it. Let me plug my phone in. My camera 
is also my phone. They didn't want to fight about it, they just, uh, they wanted a time out. They wanted to think about what they want to do. They could have like, you know, maybe perhaps let you in on it. Just a thought, whatever. All right, what's coming up in the near future? More of the same, really. Eight of Wands in reverse. So things not moving quickly, no action being taken, no communication. More. It looks like you are two people that are sort of polar opposites. I think maybe you're more of a creative kind of person. Sorry, my loves. You're more of a creative person. Uh, love driven. They are more driven by uh, finances and respect. People respecting them. They get kind of get off on that. It doesn't look like there's a future for you guys. The best you could hope for here is sort of a lifetime of you watching to see what they're doing, to see where they're at, to, you know, it's all not good. Well, not a lifetime of it, but if you're going to stick with this, you're just going to be watching what they're up to, spying on them and That's kind of the only window you get into their world. Does it work for you? I just, I, I sort of feel like with this, that you're just never gonna get any answers that way. You might think that by, looking to see what they do you will but you won't i think you'll just get more and more stressed about the situation for you we've got judgment in reverse for the new future why is the judgment in reverse for you here to teach you isn't it it's all here to teach you what you don't want and you don't want this you don't want that feeling of oh, desperation that they're you know you don't know what's going on it was great it was wonderful and then it wasn't and you don't know why For them, I feel like their problems are nothing to do with you. It stems from elsewhere. Uh, they've had their confidence knocked severely. And it just, you know, it's nice to have a fling with people. People have a bit of... Uh, have a bit of a laugh, have a bit of fun, a bit of slap and tickle, but uh, emotionally, no, they've got their, they've got their guard up. So I'm going to take this into the extended in a minute, sorry it's been a short reading, I'm going to take this into extended in a minute, I'm going to ask about them, how do they really feel about you, what are their intentions towards you, what do they want to say to you as a guidance from the universe, but let's read this, this is the outcome, the Queen of Pentacles, you've got to stop obsessing about this, you know, it's been on your mind a lot, but you know, you, you, what you're learning from this is what you don't want, and you don't want this, so you're going to stop obsessing about it and get on with you, get on with
your direction, what you want, nothing to do with them. There's a part of you that feels like from this and from other connections you've had in your life, you, you don't get it, you don't understand why you, you, why this happened and what you did wrong. And that's something that you feel like you can't move on, not from the person, but like, well, what is it? What, what did I... And it, I don't really think that that's what you kind of need to be looking at. It's not really what you're doing wrong that's making these people walk away. It's just that they're not the right person, you know? And they're not the right person, so you need to not chase it. your card. Guidance. I'm going to do guidance to the extender, but just, yeah, just be patient. Hang around, swing in the breeze, see which way it goes, you know, not with this person, but just, just wait. Don't jump into anything with people. Take your time. Swing around in the breeze. Wait to see what happens and then you'll get this, right? Don't rush things. Um, sorry, trying to, oh, there it is. I'm trying to find this deck. A fiery climax approaches. Oh, well. At least it's a climax. We get something out of it. An ending. I didn't mean it like that. Forever got a dirty mind even when I'm sick. Wish you were here by me to end this misery. I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Tell Shannon, run away. That's your song for the day. All right, my loves, I'm going to take this in six standard. Thank you for joining me.